creating your own character animation with lip sync has never been easier. In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to use ChatGPT, Procreate app and Procreate Dreams to bring a custom cartoon to life. Download the full step-by-step -step guide on my website using the link below. <coughs> Wanna settle this the hard way? Well, that's fine by me. First, let's jump right into a new chat. Now, whether you're a Plus member or using the free version, you can still accomplish this animation exercise. You can upload a front-facing photo or simply use a text prompt to generate your character. Try using a prompt, like convert this image into a 2D animation style, or just simply convert this photo into a cartoon. You can try a variety of different styles like Archer, GTA, Marvel, or Disney, whichever one you like best. Be sure to download your newly generated image to a folder on your device. If you prefer to avoid uploading an image, simply request ChatGPT to generate a cartoon character for you. Try this prompt. Create a cartoon character. A rough looking bearded guy with facial hair and a mean expression. Be descriptive with your prompt to get what you want. When you have something you are happy with, download and save that new image to your device. Once you've got a base character, generate multiple expressions. Try using this prompt. Generate six different facial expressions for this character. Be sure to upload your cartoon character into the prompt field using the plus button before initiating the request. Once completed, save the results. Now ask ChatGPT to generate cartoon mouth shapes. Try this prompt. Create a variety of cartoon mouths representing common speech sounds. You will need A, C, H, T, S, B, E, O, and a few others. To save some time, be sure to ask to make it a PNG with no background. To get the most accurate and detailed lip syncing references, search the web for cartoon mouth shapes specifically designed for lip syncing. You'll find all the necessary phonetic orientations to achieve a wide range of vocabulary. After you have a character created with a variety of faces, mouths, and expressions, download each image and share them to your iPad or iCloud folder for easy access. Now let's jump over to the iPad where we can create a new Procreate project. Under the action menu, tap Add and insert your main character. Resize the image to fit the canvas. Now insert the image file with the six different facial expressions. Next, we're going to copy and paste each head onto its own layer. Turn off the visibility of layer 1 by tapping the checkbox to the right of it under the Layers tab. Now use the Automatic Selection tool to select the background and delete it. Tap and drag left or right to increase or decrease the threshold of the automatic selector. You can clear the selection quickly by using a three-finger swiping gesture. With the background now removed, use the freehand selection tool to select around each head. Tap the copy and paste button to automatically create a new layer for that head. Be sure that you are working on the inserted image layer with the six facial expressions before making a selection around the head. If not selected, copying and pasting won't work. Repeat this for each expression. Turn the visibility of the main character layer back on. Use the Move tool to reposition each head layer. Align them as close to center as possible to the original head. In the Layers menu, select each head layer and group them all together. Tap the Group button to create the new group. You might want to rename that group folder to maintain organization. Ensure that the group layer is selected and then use the Move tool to resize all heads simultaneously. Next, duplicate layer 1, your main character. Turn the visibility off and hide all layers except for the new duplicate layer. If your image has a background, use the clone tool to remove the head. If your image has no background, simply use the eraser tool to erase the head and then use the clone tool to match texture and color of the shirt. Match your brush size to the contour line used in the image and add a contour line to the shirt, shoulders, or neck. To simulate the animated expressions, you can cycle the layers on and off. You may need to adjust the size and position of each head depending on your desired effect. For each head expression layer, use the eraser tool to clean up any unwanted lines or edges. 
Now duplicate a few of the facial expression layers. Using the clone tool or paintbrush with matching color, remove the mouth from each duplicate layer. With the mouth removed, I use the freehand selection tool to select a portion of the beard. I then copy and paste this selected area to a new layer. This allows me to duplicate the shape of color and texture, which can then be merged with other layers, streamlining the process to save time and ensure consistency in the final design. Next, tap the action menu and add or insert your generated lip syncing image file. If your image file has a background, use the automatic selection magic wand tool to remove or clear it. Now, using the same technique we previously used to separate the facial expression heads, use the freehand tool to select, copy, and paste each mouth onto its own layer. Next, select each layer by swiping to the right and group them all together. It is a good habit to rename layers and groups to keep things organized. Reposition and resize, if needed, each mouth layer to the approximate central location of the background face. Step 6. Create a new Procreate Dreams project. Since the format of my image is a square, I will create an empty 2K square movie. Now switch back to Procreate app and view your project in the gallery. Tap and hold it while you return to the Procreate Dreams app. Your project will automatically import into the new Dreams movie project. Center the imported project by moving it towards the center while holding your opposite finger on the off-stage part of the screen. Resize the image to fit and constrain the proportions by holding your opposite finger in the same position. Now tap and hold the track layer name to bring up the pop-up option window. Tap the convert layers to tracks button. Tap this arrow to view all the layers of your project. For each expression layer and mouth layer, reduce the duration or frame length. You can tap and drag from either side to reduce or lengthen the duration. Or you can tap the action button, then tap the edit button, and then split the layer. Select the portion that you do not want, tap the action button again, and then delete the unwanted portion. Delete any unused track by tapping and holding on the empty track. Tap the delete track button on the pop-up menu. Reposition each facial expression onto one single track. Adjust the duration of each facial expression to your desired length. Tap the playback button to see the results. Don't forget to hide or turn off layer 1 of your main character. You only want the headless version and one facial expression head to be visible at any given time. If multiple heads are visible as you move the playhead, adjust, trim, or delete as needed. Repeat the same steps for each mouth layer. Adjust the duration for each one and reposition them onto a single track. You may find that it is better to have two separate tracks for the mouth layers in order to make adjustments as needed, especially when synchronizing to voice over audio. In order to give the illusion of the mouth moving as if it is speaking, you need to make sure to have a mouthless facial expression on a track under your lip-syncing mouth track. Resize the duration of each mouth to achieve the illusion of speech. Next, we need to create an audio voiceover. You could record yourself or use an AI text-to-speech generator like Eleven Labs. Record or generate the voiceover for your character. Save the audio file to your device so that you can access it through Procreate Dreams. For this project, I recorded my own voiceover using QuickTime and then I saved the file to my iCloud project folder. Within the Procreate Dreams app, tap the plus button, tap files, and import your voiceover audio file. Adjust the placement of your audio file to synchronize it with your animation. Now we need to adjust and position each mouth so that they line up with the spoken words. You may need to adjust the duration or length of each one as needed. Be patient and precise to achieve the best results. Once you are satisfied and your animation is complete, you may want to rename your project before you export or share it. Return to the gallery or theater and tap and hold the project name. Here you can rename it. 
Now open the project again, tap the name of the project on the left, tap the share button, and export your video animation. <coughs> oh, if I just try hard enough, I know I can do this. Bonus tip. You can use ChatGPT to add more body movements, like raising the character's arms or legs. Then just switch between the images to create the illusion of movement. Or you could even create separate layers for each element you want to move. Then you can use more advanced features in the Dreams app, like keyframes for moving and scaling, as well as warping or distorting the elements. Well, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, or if you have a question about this video, let me know in the comments below. I'll definitely respond and try to help you get through it. Don't forget to download the full PDF guide from the link in the description. This is Brennan from Artismia. Keep practicing, and we'll catch you next time.